Hello, welcome everyone to this um, uh, lesson uh, <clears throat> where we want to look at um, the 2023 GCE Mathematics Paper 2, all right? Uh, question uh, 6 and uh, 7. Then 6 and 7, all right? So question six is on vectors. In the diagram below, vector O A is this one, vector O B is that, vector O C is that. Now you need to know that here I say M is the midpoint of O B and um and um O C. O B and O C is parallel to A B. Okay, that's what they are saying. O C is parallel to AB, but M is the midpoint of OB. All right. The first question is, let's find OB. O to B. Now, apart from using this, how can we go to this point if we are starting from here? So this will be equal to, our initial point is O. So move from O to A. Uh, plus ABC. Okay, so this will be 2A plus B, and that's it. So we are following the direction, the, the signs of the vectors will remain the same. Okay, that's number one. Number two, CB. CB. We want to move. From C to B. So we are we are at point C. We want to head to point C. So how can we move? We can move from C to O O to B direct. Okay, so this is it. C O plus O B. All right. And this will be C O will be going against the directions of negative 3B plus O B is 2A plus B. So we can say B plus 2A. Uh, what do we get? Negative 2B plus B is yeah, negative 3b plus b is negative 2b plus 2a is what we have, right? That's what we have. Okay. Uh, o, cb, you can find cb by saying move from c to o plus o to a plus A to B to get that answer. You can try that and see what you'll get. The next one is AC. AC, A to B, A to B, all right. So where is AC? So suppose we want to move from A to C. You can move from A to to B, then B to C, or you can move from A to O, or to C. So say A O plus O C. So what is our A O? A O we are going against the direction, so to be negative two A plus O C, O C is three B. That's it, that's it. And you are good to go. You are good to go. As simple as all that. So please, in case you are writing your GCE next year, know that the 2024 GCE are um, 
registration has started. Teach live lessons all time at only 500 quarters a month. Mathematics only and individual uh, in a group. Uh, maybe we're about 15, 20. Now, we don't have a lot of people. We don't really encourage to have a lot of people. We always want people to concentrate. All right. So contact us on 0978-56-58-76. This is for Mr. Perry. Okay. Okay, we can proceed. We can proceed. CM. We want to find CM. CM. Okay. C to M. So we don't know this route, but we want to find it so we can go from C to O or to M. So this will be C uh, O O M. Now C O C O will be going against the direction three B three B plus O B. Uh, no, not O B, but O M. O M. O M. Yeah, o M is half of A B. Uh, o B is half of O B because M is the main point. So it is half of O B. So what is our O B? Our O B is uh, two A plus B. Okay, so this has been a value three B uh, plus. When I say half of B, right? Or let me say half of two A A plus half times B to be half B. So upon grouping the terms, so I will have three B plus half B the same as B over two. You can say over one plus a. So the denominator here will be two. So one into two is two by negative three b. That's negative six b plus two into two is one times b is b plus a. So this gives us negative five over two b plus a. This is our Answer that's it. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Let's go to the next question. Uh the equation of the chain y is equal to x to the power three minus twenty seven x. That is the equation. Find the coordinates of the turning point. So coordinates of the turning point we mean um just coordinates of the stationary point. Okay. Coordinates of the stationary point. Coordinates of the stationary point. Okay. So then allow me to demarcate like this. So this is um B six B. Uh, question six B. So we have what y is equal to x cubed minus twenty seven x. I need to find the coordinates of the stationary points. So we get the stationary points at the point where the gradient stops. That is the y dx. Implying that we need to differentiate that function with respect to x first. So we say y dx is equal to three times the coefficient. So you have got three times the coefficient here. The coefficient here is one, so times one, times x three minus one, then the power here is one, 
1 times 27 times x1 minus 1. So dy dx is equal to 3x squared minus 27x to the power 0. So this implies that 3x squared minus 27. Because x to the power of 0 is 1, 1 times 7 is 27. And this is equal to 0 because they are dealing with turning points. So we divide by 3, we divide by 3, divide by 3. Uh, x squared minus 9 is equal to 0. So implying that by difference of two squares, two squares we have x minus 3, x plus 3 is equal to 0. Implying that x is equal to 3 or x is equal to negative 3. So now we find the values of x. So we're going to find the value of x using the original equation y is equal to x to the power 3 minus 3 x. Now, when x is equal to 3, we need to find the y, right? This imply that y is equal to 3 to the power 3 minus 27 to the power 3, right? y is equal to 27 minus 27 to the power 3. You can use your calculator. Okay. But the answer is negative 54. Negative. So y is equal to negative. Fifty-four. Negative 54. That's it. Now, when x is equal to negative 3, so it means the coordinates here for the first one are 3, comma, negative 54. Okay. So for the second one, we we'll say y is equal to negative 3 to the power 3 minus 27 to the power 3. So this will be equal to negative 27 plus 27 times 3. All right? So y will be equal to 54. So therefore, we have negative 3, comma, 54. These are the coordinates of the planet. How can I define? Okay, good. We go to the next question. The diagram shows positions of three towns P, Q, and R. P, Q is equal to 7.1 kilometers. P, R is 23.8. Our PQ is 92.7. Okay. Calculate the distance RQ to decimal place. So we can abbreviate the, the sides by small letters. We say P, Q, this is R. Now, because we have got two sides that are forming an angle, Means to find the other side, we are going to use the cosine. All right? We are going to use the cosine. So, if you want to find the P, you must square P. Squared is equal to square the other two sides and get their sum. R squared plus two squared minus two times the two sides. R two times the cos of the side. 
cos of the angle of this. Implying that to find the P, we can introduce the square root, square root. So P will be equal to now. We will not say plus or minus because we are dealing with length. So P is equal to square root of R squared plus Q squared minus 2 R Q times cos P. Okay. Now we can proceed and say, okay, where there is P, maybe we just say the right whatever we are looking for now, which is R Q. What is size R? 7.1 squared plus Q is 23.8. Minus two times seven point one times twenty three point eight times cos ninety two point seven. R of Q is equal to so you can get your calculator and try to work it out. Okay. 7.1 squared plus 2 squared minus 2 over bracket 7.1 times 3.8 times 4 times Okay, so the answer will be 632.77009608183. But direct now, I'll punch the square root. Okay? Square root. So the answer after punching with the square root will be 25.15. Five four nine two one nine zero five seven. So R Q is equal to we round it off to two decimal places. So after a point, we we'll count one two and tell this four as zero six less than five and can't affect the number. So we'll say twenty-five point one. That is zero plus five is five. Uh, this is in the kilometers. So our answer. That is our answer. The next question is about um, area. So the area will be given by half times sine. Sign of the angle that we have, okay? And the 2.7 times the two sides that are meeting at the angle, what are these? 23.8 times 7.1. That's, that's how you do it. Get a calculator, work it out. All right, so. Um, that is half times sine um, and the two point seven and twenty three point six times seven point eight. So our area is equal to. Eighty four point three nine six two zero five five three 
Okay, so you don't need to talk to space in this country, guys, because there are no instructions. So one, two, three, we start here and take nine as one, one plus this three is four. So it's a four point four. Remember these are kilometers, so it's a square kilometer. This is our time. Now, we want the distance, so let's distance from P to R. From P to R, like this. So, we even have a 90 degrees, this one becomes our, our height, which we are looking for. Then this is your base now. All right? So, you can easily use, say, our height, which is distance is two times the area divided by the base. Implying that, Say two times your area, 84 point. You write the, the value that is not rounded off better that way to avoid distorting the answers. 0.39620553554 divided by our base is RQ. Right, our base is R Q. Then we got R Q to be. I'll write the whole value twenty five point one five four nine two one nine zero five seven. So our height. So because you can get your operator, we get out. Open bracket. Open. Three nine two six two zero five five zero five five. This answer divided by uh, twenty five one five two nine one nine zero. So our answer is 6.718126794777. Therefore, so this the distance. Is you got the same, we give it two decimal places. So after a point, after a point, we we'll say one, two, take it as one, one plus one, two, so six point seven two kilometers. So, okay. this was normal number three. This was normal number three at B. So, the equation. So the equation three turn theta is equal to 89 for that range. So since this is positive, which means turn, you know that turn is positive in the first and third quadrant. Since the range is between zero to 180, right? You can get straight here, go straight and find time and find theta. But if we were the range had gone up to 360, would have first maybe found alpha. Okay? So in this case, I'll go straight and find the uh, tan. Tan theta, I will not even find alpha because alpha. In the first quadrant are one since this is a uh, positive in the first quadrant so turn of the alpha so like this so theta will be called turn inverse of 89 
divided by three. So if you find theta on your calculator, so shift, return, nine divided by two. So the answer is 88.06941255883. So, okay, so round off for degrees, you round them off to one decimal place. To be 88 points. If we cut here, we take this as one. One plus zero, be one degrees. This is your answer. Okay. Then see, we need to simplify that. Okay, so we have C. We need to simplify 9x squared minus 1 divided by 9x plus 3. Okay, so when you look at what is on top here, is a minus and a square, meaning that there is um, a number you can square to give you nine, and the number is three. There's a letter you can square to give you x squared, and which is x minus. The number you can square to give you one is one. So you factorize it like that, right? Then divided by here, there's a plus. Difference of two squares does not work. We can get what is common three. Three into nine x, three x plus one. So 3x plus 1 and 3x plus 1 will cancel. So the answer will be 3x minus 1 over 3. Or you can divide 3x divided by 3 minus 1 divided by 3, which will be x minus 1 over 3. You can do that. Okay, uh, that's where we end for this uh, presentation. Okay, it was the 2023 20, exam. So, you can conduct us, like I said, 2024. The twenty twenty four DCE has started. But only five hundred points of a month. These are very effective lessons. A month mathematics only per person. All right. They contact us on zero. Nine, seven, eight, fifty-six, fifty-eight, twenty-six, zero nine, seven, nine, fifty-seven, thirty-eight, zero nine. Okay, you can also subscribe to the new channel that we are promoting, which is the Amban Theory. Till next time, bye-bye and God bless.